Good morning, everyone. This is Freddie B. Goldwingen out on another ride. I'm uh, in Tampa, Florida, heading to the VA Center. Now turn right. Getting ready to go get boosted. <laughs> yes. The, Follow the arrow on the display and then immediately turn left. The GPS is currently confused. It still show me I'm leaving from my address in Georgia. And eventually it'll figure out where I am. Hopefully sooner than I get to the expressway. Now turn right. In three quarters of a mile, prepare to keep right. It's a beautiful day out, y'all. It's 71 degrees. Nice. It's like 46 in Fayetteville. That's why I come here to enjoy this weather. And we're talking about in December of all time. Of course, it's cooler in the morning, but still doable. It was in the uh, low 60s this morning, I believe. But I could have usually dressed for that. Guy using his phone while he's driving. Keep left toward Flat Street. Now turn slide left. Now going through parts of downtown Tampa.
in three quarters of a mile prepare to keep straight on Now turn slight right. In the quarter of a mile turn right onto North 40th Street. It's not much crazier than following your GPS and finding out the road ahead of you is closed. Oh, shoot. Now turn left and then immediately make a U turn. Now make a U turn. In 800 feet, make a U turn. Now make a U turn. to turn right. Quarter of a mile, make a U turn, then you will reach your destination. Now make a U turn, then you will reach your destination. In 700 feet, turn right onto North 23rd Street. In the quarter of... Follow the arrow on the display. Couldn't find a place to park, so look what I considered doing. And then look what happened. Huh? I'm dead. You can tell me, where's the DEC Dining Center? I mean, it, it is inside here. <laughs> you got one. Okay, thank you. Here's another angle as to what happened. You ain't parking there, are you? Huh? You ain't parking there, are you? I'm dead. You can tell me, where's the DEC dining center? I mean, it could be inside this building. It could be inside this building. Motorcycle parking straight ahead. You got one. Okay, thank you, sir. 
nice guys. I'm glad they came along when they did. Thank you. I went in, got both shots, and on my way. Here we are here rolling. Okay, just um, when I got my shots, I got my Pfizer booster and my flu shots. I'm a bad man. But hey, said might as well knock them both out at the same time. I'm not worried about anything. You know, I just saw a sign back there for the law firm Morgan to Morgan that says size matter. Um, trying to indicate that the large side of their forum makes a difference in your cases. And I was sitting there thinking, you know, other than the old sexual connotation of size matter, in, in a way that makes a difference, even if you're small. And I just realized going through the car that I just went through, the narrow size of the motorcycle mattered. It makes a big difference in how you'll be able to get through things and get around things. It makes some drivers mad. And I, I realize some people get mad at a cyclist, a motorcyclist rather, because of us of, of, of bikers, what you want to call us, uh, because we're able to do those maneuvers like that. And to me, it's a matter of jealousy because had they the same size and power, they would do the same thing, simply put. And uh, so they want to get mad at you, mainly because you're doing something they can't do. So folks, take that in mind sometimes. It's uh, it's not a matter of them hating you just because you ride a motorcycle. They don't like your advantage that pre that's presented to you. Like this guy in front of me handling his phone while he should be driving. I'm going around him. In two miles, prepare to keep walking. See, I hadn't even changed my modes in the go wing. It, it knew what to do. So it's like, yeah, maintain the gear as if it was ready for me to accelerate again. So the Gold Wing's pretty smart, folks. Um, I know a lot of people complain about the computer control things, motor, modern motorcycles, modern vehicles. But I'm telling you, many times there's advantages to those. And just then, motorcycle was smart enough to know I might be ready to pull on power again. So it maintained a lower gear. Getting ready for that. Now, I don't know what this traffic is about or why, but um, I don't know if there's an accident or this is typical. I don't normally be on this road this time of day, so I'm clueless. hope for the best for people if there's an accident I see there's one off to the left up there I don't know what's going on with that if there was an accident someone got pulled over and they being towed I don't know but I do see damage on the back of that vehicle on the tow truck so it looks like that was an accident yep there's the other one so I don't know what was going on stop and go traffic somebody ran to the back of someone else so I hope and pray for them. The best. In one mile, keep left and continue following I-270. So mainly, people, that was uh, folks on this side of the road slowing down to see what's going on, on the other side of the road. I really don't like that. You're thinking there's traffic because of the accident on this side of the road. No, people slowing down to see what's going on on the other side of the road. Folks, don't do that. It's ignorant and you're causing other people trouble. You might wind up in uh, causing another accident. 
because people not paying attention. to the right. In a quarter of a mile at the end of the road, turn left toward McDonnell Air Force Base. Now turn left. really exhilarating experience. Before I go on the rest of this trip, I want to show you something I noticed in review of my rear camera. And there was something that I was not paying attention to while I was driving. It's this white BMW. Keep on keeping up behind me. Notice I left him behind in traffic on the highway. As I exited the highway, here he comes. At this point, I realized the guy was trying to keep up with me. I had to leave him stuck behind that black Subaru WRX. He and the black Subaru caught up to me shortly, but I had to leave them both behind. It was good to later see what was going on behind me that I had not noticed.
I was able to stop and grab me something to eat at a drive through on my way home, then pressed on. The uh, overpass to the toll plaza is completed on this end. The whole thing is open now. So it looks really nice. Haven't been on that portion yet. Actually, I don't have a need to go on that portion because I'll go, go straight down to the bridge from here without getting on that thing. I got a Prius hypermiling. I'm gonna get around him or her. In the quarter of a mile, turn slight right to the destination. Okay, y'all. I'm almost home. Y'all have a good day now. Thanks for coming along with me. Talk to you later. Now turn slight right. You will reach your destination in 900 feet. Your destination is on the right. <laughs>